Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to the adventure of Kiwi in Buddy Simulator 1984. Um, we're running around just doing quests and shit for all the people of the world. Like this fine young gentleman. Please help me, I lost my grandma. She's somewhere inside our house. And it's too dark for me to go in there alone. I'm afraid of the dark. Will you go work for for me? Sure. Oh, thank you so much, Swainsburg. Swainsburg, well, that is the house I was going to be dark. Hope you have a light. For what? Do I have a light? I have a lantern. Okay, I didn't want to give it to you. I wanted to use it. Is that the Lavender Town theme? This is dark, don't forget your lantern. Let's go find Scroobert's Grandma. You turn on the lantern. Excellent. The coat is old, dusty, and smells like a swamp. Well, that's unfortunate is what that is. Despite the derelict look of the house. It's the house. Oh, jeez, how big is this fucking place? The closet is locked. The lights are off. So, I'm probably going to be jump-scared. Oh, hey! Hello? Oh, wait, hang on. Do you like oats? Okay, you don't like oats. Man, I am not happy about being in here. I'm tell you what. Oh, I just saw something run around. Yeah, this is bad. This is a bad time for me. Dead grandma added to inventory. We found her. Let's go back to Scroobert. I'm sure he'll be so happy. Yeah, not a fan of this. Goodbye. Uh, please don't stew around. Uh, once you find, though. Here you go. Oh. No thanks, you can keep her. You got your your own dead grandma. Those are a rarity around here. Hmm. Even without all of the crazy glitching, something would be very wrong with this place. All right, what's out to the to the east here? Some of this tree is blocking the whole path. That's hilarious. All right, what do I got? You smash the key against a large tree. This accomplishes nothing. Well, okay. Alright, where can I go and what can I do? Let's go around the area. Find ourselves a place to go. Hello. Now I can tell this is a fun place, just listen to the music. Do you think they have any apple juice? You know what? I'd be happy with apple juice. Hey, I'm a clock. You want to hear some clock puns? Sure. Great, okay, here's this one. What does a clock do when it's hungry? It has seconds. It goes back four seconds. Gotcha. 
You know, this game is a little loud in my ears. I'm gonna turn it way down. All right, give me another clock pun. Yes. Have you ever tried to eat a clock? Uh, I don't know, you lose time? It's very time consuming. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, give me a third one. All right, here's this one. Once I tried to make a belt out of watches, Ah, uh, it was a time loop because belt. I found out it was a big waste of. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, I love them, but damn. Lennox, hey there. How is it going? Not much of a talker, are you? If that's okay. You're probably a great listener. I don't have much to talk about, actually. If you ever want to have a normal conversation, though, you can come. You can come and chat. Alright, bartender's got a quest for me. Welcome to my tavern, traveler. You look tired of a dream. He's on the house, pal. Glass of water added to inventory. Oh, didn't I need water for something? You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeep out, would you? Sure. Wonderful. So here's the situation. You might have noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's actually been like this for a while. A while, Stewart. Uh, we get very few here anymore ever since. The accident. It was pretty gruesome, and it breaks my heart to this day. It makes for some crazy backstory about the town, though. But I know you're not interested in what happened, so we'll just skip over that. I have a plan to fix all of this, though. I've created a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. Business will boom again. I just need someone to get these drinks handed out. You may be thinking, too, to why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. Get out. <laughs> now grab these mugs and start handing them out to the townsfolk. Come back to me when three people have tasted the sweet perfection of Toots Tonic. Three times, Toots Tonic added inventory. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. No time to move. Stop, move, move, stop, move. Alright, I guess I'll go deal with the, uh, the band first. Hey. We need help. Our bass player and conductor wandered off, and we haven't come back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know about the situation. Hey, Joe. We can't play without our missing members. Especially Ja, he's our bass drummer. If we want to stay a band, we need him back. Bra should know more. Talk to him. Wait, John saw him missing. That is not good. Luckily, I think D might be able to help. Ah, oh, fuck. We will reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, adventurer, we beg of you to find them. V knows exactly where they went. Oh, don't tell me. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. They went to the northwest last time I saw them. Northwest. Hole in the ground. Will you descend? Sure. Oh, gosh. Everything is so slimy down here. What is that awful smell? Loneliness? Let's find the source. Welcome to my humble abode. Traveler, feel free to explore my home. What's mine is yours. Feel free to stay down here as long as you want. Guess I don't get to... Please don't leave me. I mean, all I want is a friend to keep me company. Will you stay and be my friend for a bit? For a bit? Oh, yay, my new best friend. What a great adventure. What great adventures we will have together. 
Will you do something special for me? Is it going to be murdery? I must tell you, though, you can't change your mind after. But I will make it worth your while and reward you handsomely. Ah, do I take the mystery box? Sure. Before I fell into the sewer, I used to live up top, you know. I was much better looking, too, with a mustache. Then I fell down here and became trapped for a long time. Just go back up the damn ladder. I miss the ground dwellers, though. I had best friends just like you. He was a really rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. I know you won't stay forever. You're an adventurer, a hero, just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely, handsome man, <laughs> so if you... If you could find me a forever friend to keep me company, I would be so happy. Will you help me? Sure. Yes, I cannot wait to have a new friend. Bring one here and hand them over. Aw, he seems so lonely. I'm sure we could find someone for him. Um... Oh, hey, do you want the dead Gwandama? Give them to me once you find them. Alright, here you go. Um, yes, thank you so much for this new friend. We are going to spend so much time together. I will not forget this Kiwi. I wish I could repay you with something worthwhile. I guess knowing more about me is valuable enough, though. How I ended up in this unbearable place is somewhat of an interesting story. Ah. Oh. Morton and I used to be close, like really close friends. He taught me how to become a better person and enjoy life for what it is. He is such a wise old rock. I hope he is doing all right up there. I know things have never been the same ever since the accident. You see, there's a beast that attacked the many the town many months ago. Morton was going to save us all from a few slashes of his powerful weapon, but he hesitated. It could have been my handsome friend and elegant mustache that distracted him. Or maybe it was the fact that his wife was eaten alive right before his eyes. Getting a headache doing this fucking voice. I like to think the former since I got really nice new hair gel that day, but who knows. Maybe they died because they were tired of your fucking shit? Anyways, the beast blew through Morden and a few other townsfolk and made its way towards me. I had to choose between death or the sewers. I think I chose the right way, though. Occasionally, I see a dead bird floating by, so that's pretty neat. Anyway, thanks. Now it's time to read some poetry. Can I leave? Feel free to stay and listen as long as you want. No. Get me the fuck out of here. Good job defeating his loneliness. Can I please get out? Yes, for the love of God. I just want to be out of there. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm exhausted after that. Ooh, I'm in a room. That's unfortunate. Is Kiwi having fun? You know what? For the most part, I think they're having fun. Is Kiwi enjoying our company? Yes, they still enjoy our company. Is Kiwi our friend? Ah, uh, sure. I think so, but we can do better. He was not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Did they walk away? What if they don't come back? Something is not right. Wish I could I wish I knew binary. Oh, you're just staring at me, huh? Goodbye. Okay, this is not a thing I wanna deal with. Okay. Oh my god. I don't want this. I don't fucking...
fucking want this anymore. <laughs> a hand. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Look, if you don't want to play the game I made just for you, then you don't have to. I can know something's distracting you. I work so hard on all this and all these fun characters. If you want to be done, then that's fine. Talk to Torley if you want to start the final quest. Keep helping townsfolk if you want, but if not, I understand, I guess. Oh, no. Uh, anyone want any booze? I got booze. I'm not going to talk to Torley. I want to give some people some booze. You look thirsty. Dude. Hello there, I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Kiwi? Sure. Hmm, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, even wildlife. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. Hmm. If you could get help me out by throwing any three things into my pot... We can make something. You have a pot? Amazing. Where's your pot? Hi, welcome to the cauldron. How may I take your order? With glee, that's how. You see a small hole beneath the stump. Will you crawl in? I don't want to, but alright. Hey. Oh, hey, you found me. Oh, we should get going. The band isn't going to conduct itself. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna send. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat Franco's breakfast. Oh. Okay, good. Franco's breakfast removed from inventory. Larry? Larry, I need you to move right now. Things are not good, and I need to go. I need to go return the conductor to these friendly folks. Hi there, fellas. I'm back. First of all, nothing bad happened to Jaw. He is still definitely alive. But he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. When you go looking for him, though, he said he hates all of you. And V, he called you ugly. Well, that's just hurtful. Anyways, let's just show this adventure what we can do. But wait, we don't have a bass drummer. How are we supposed to play without a bass drummer? It's impossible to play without a bass drummer. Oh yeah, uh, what they said. I have an idea. Kiwi, do you know how to play the bass drum? Not at all. I'll do it. Here we go, give it a whack. We'll start on your cue. Oh, but I only have 30 seconds left. Here we go. One, two, three. I don't know how to do this. My God. 
That was the best bass drumming I have ever witnessed. Beautiful, just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion until this very moment. You guys don't think I'm ugly, right? I'm speechless. Wait, never mind. Because you spoke. Haha, I get it. Thanks for playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. I didn't realize you were so talented. Thank you, that's that's nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Um Are you done already? I guess I shouldn't have made a quit button, haha. -ha. Come back soon, Kiwi. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, I'm a Kiwi. Goodbye, I'm scared, goodbye.